हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सैंस चाप्टर फोर्स अंड लाज आफ मोशन चाप्टर नोट्स हेल्ता हिंदी तरगत सैन चाप्टर पॉइंट ना यहाँ मो आम आ पॉइंट ना यहाँ नीटे बरकु ओद अंत वीडियो हेल्ता हिंदी चाप्टर नईन फोर्स अंड लाज आफ मोशन वन ब्यन्ड अंड अन्ड फोर्स ब्यन्ड फोर्स द नैट फोर्स ईज वे टू आर् मोर् फोर्स आर् अल्लाइड आन अ सेम आबजेक्ट अंड अट द सेम टाइम द अल्लाइड फोर्स कंबाइन आर् कॉल द नैट फोर्स ब्यन्ड फोर्स द फोर्स अल्लाइड इन द वन डैरेन प्लस द फोर्स यू अल्लाइड इन द अपोजिट डैरे आर् आडेड टूगेदर टू फोर्स आर् ईक्वल अंड ब्यन्ड अन्ड फोर्स ए फोर्स इज अल्लाइड इन वन डैरे अंड ईदर अनदर स्मर आर् लारजर फोर्स इज अल्लाइड इन द अपोजिट डैरे आर् नो फोर्स इज अल्लाइड अट आल इन द अपोजिट डैरे अन्ड फोर्स इफ ई हव ए चेर अंड ई पुश आन वन सैड आफ इट वित् फोर्स आफ फिफ्टी न्यूटन अंड यू पुश आन द अदर सैड वित् फोर्स आफ ट्वेंटी फै न्यूटन विल द चेर मूव which way will it move the direction in which the most force is applied what is the net force 50 newton 25 newton next newton's first law first law an object at rest will stay at rest and an object is in uniform motion it will be in motion at constant velocity unless acted upon by an external unbalanced force an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in the motion at constant velocity unless acted upon by an unbalanced force newton's second law of motion if the net force of an object is not zero the object will accelerate the direction of the acceleration is the same as the direction of the net force the magnitude of the acceleration is directly proportional to the net force applied and inversely proportional to the mass of the object mathematical symbols provide a convenient shorthand for all the all of this a is equal to f by m that is f is equal to m into a we know that formula f is equal to m into a that is we can also write it as a is equal to f net force divided by m means mass or f net force means force the net force is equal to mass into acceleration look at the diagram mass 10 kg another one mass 1 kg if we leave these two then gravitational force that is f gravitation 9.8 newton the gravitational force is equal to 9.8 newton that is the final answer is a is equal to 9.8 meter per second square the acceleration of the small object that is 9.8 meter per second square the effect of mass a force applied to an automobile will not have the same effect on the same force applied to a pencil an automobile resists acceleration much more than the pencil does because it has more inertia or mass the acceleration of an object depends on not only on how hard you push on it but also on how how much the object resists being pushed what is the effect of mass on acceleration this two turns out to be quite simple i wonder why for the same force an object will with the twice the mass will have half the acceleration if it had three times the mass the same force will produce one third of the acceleration four times the mass give one fourth of the acceleration and so on this type of relationship between quantities double one get half the other is called the inverse proportion or inverse variation in other words then newton's second law of motion 
the acceleration of the object is dependent upon both force and mass thus if the colliding objects have unequal mass they will have the unequal accelerations as a result of the constant force which results during the collision newton's third law newton's third law is stated as for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction action reaction means that force always occurs in pairs force or interaction between objects like conversations or interactions between people single isolated forces never happen the two forces involved are called the action force and the reaction force these names are unfortunate for a couple of reasons either force in an interaction can be the action force or the reaction force the action and the reaction forces exist at the same time here equal means both forces are exactly the same size they are equal in magnitude both forces exist at the exactly the same time they both start at exactly the same instant and they both stop at exactly the same instant they are all equal in time opposite means that the two forces always act in opposite direction exactly 180 degree apart newton's third law of motion in every interaction there is a pair of forces acting on the two interacting objects the size of the force on the first object equals the size of the force on the second object the direction of the force on the first object is opposite to the direction of the force on the second object forces always come in pairs equal and opposite action and reaction force pairs newton's third law of motion applied to collisions between two objects in a collision between two objects both objects experience forces which are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction such forces cause the object to speed up that is gain momentum and the other object to slow down that is lose momentum according to newton's third law the forces on the two objects are equal in magnitude the next inertia and masses inertia is the tendency of an object to resist any change in its motion an object will continue to at the same speed in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force inertia and mass inertia and mass of the boiling ball roll down the road would eventually come to a stop friction is an unbalanced force that causes the ball to stop or slow down without friction the ball would keep going mass is the amount of matter in an object a bowling ball has more mass than a tennis ball the greater the mass of an object the greater is its inertia conservation of momentum law of conservation of momentum in a closer system the vector sum of the momenta before and after an impact must be equal